The Aerobee rocket was a small 8 meters unguided suborbital sounding rocket used for high atmospheric and cosmic radiation research in the United States in the 1950s. Research utilizing V2 rockets after World War II produced valuable results concerning the nature of cosmic rays, the solar spectrum, and the distribution of atmospheric ozone. The limited supply and the expense of assembling and firing the V-2 rockets led to the development of a low-cost sounding rocket to be utilized for scientific research. This rocket, the Aerobee, was developed under the joint guidance of James Van Allen at the Applied Physics Laboratory and Rolf Sabersky at the Aerojet Corporation and was supported by the Navy Bureau of Ordnance and the Naval Office of Research and Inventions later ONR. The Aerobee drastically reduced the cost of a single research mission, it was built by Aerojet General. The company began work in 1946 and test-fired the first complete Aerobee from the White Sands Proving Grounds in New Mexico on November 24, 1947. It reached an altitude of 34.7 miles Topic. Launches The rocket was two-stage with a solid fuel boost and a nitric acid, aniline sustainer. The rockets could reach around 230 km a later variant exceeded 400 km. Instrumentation usually provided constant telemetry and was recovered by parachute. For accurate pointing special gimbal mounts were developed. Aerobees were launched from 53 meters tall launch towers to provide the necessary stability until the rockets gained enough speed for their fins to be effective in controlling attitude. Launch towers were built at the White Sands Missile Range, Churchill Rocket Research Range, Wallops Flight Facility, and aboard the research vessel USS Norton Sound. The Aerobee could take a 68 kg payload to an altitude of 130 km. The first instrument carrying Aerobee was the A-5, launched on March 5, 1948, from White Sands, carrying instruments for cosmic radiation research, reaching an altitude of 117.5 km. When the last Aerobee flew at White Sands in 1958, around 165 including variants, had been successfully fired at that location. Variants of the Aerobee were launched in 1968 and 1969 for research relating to the Apollo program. The Aerojet engineers also developed the Aerobee High, first launched in 1955. A total of 1,037 Aerobees, including variants, were launched from all locations, the last on January 17, 1985. Topic. Australian launches An agreement between the Government of Australia and the Government of the United States of America regarding the launching of three Aerobee rockets was established in Canberra, March 1970. A similar treaty was agreed to in 1973 for seven launches, and in 1977 for six launches for various astronomical and solar experiments conducted by NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. In 1974, the U.S. DARPA through Air Force Cambridge Research Laboratory and Australia agreed to launch three rockets under Project High Star South. A total of 20 Aerobee launches were made at Woomera Test Range, Series 150 to 3 launches in May, June 1970. Series 170 to 7 launches in November 1973 and 2 launches February 1977. Series 200 to 3 launches in September 1974. Series 200A, 5 launches in February 1977. Topic. Technical data Topic Aerobee Payload sixty eight kilograms Maximum flight altitude one hundred thirty kilometers Liftoff thrust eighteen kilonewtons Total mass seven hundred twenty seven kilograms 
Core diameter, 0.38 meters. Total length, 7.80 meters. Topic. Aero B-75. Maximum flight altitude, 80 kilometers. Liftoff thrust, 7.00 kilonewtons. Total mass, 400 kilograms. Total length, 6. OOM. Topic. Aero B-150. Payload, 68 kilograms. Maximum flight altitude, 270 kilometers. Liftoff thrust, 18 kilonewtons. Total mass, 930 kilograms. Core diameter, 0.38 meters. Total length, 9.30 meters. Topic. Aero B-170. Maximum flight altitude, 200 kilometers. Liftoff thrust, 225 kilonewtons. Total mass, 1,270 kilograms. Core diameter, 0.42 meters. Total length, 12. 60 meters. Topic. Aero B-170A. Payload, 227 kilograms. Maximum flight altitude, 200 kilometers. Liftoff thrust, 217 kilonewtons. Total mass, 1,270 kilograms. Core diameter, 0.42 meters. Total length, 12. 40 meters. Topic. Aero B-170B Maximum flight altitude, 200 km Liftoff thrust, 225 kilonewtons Total mass, 1,270 kg Core diameter, 0.42 m Total length, 12. 40 m Topic. Aero B-200 Maximum flight altitude, 250 km Liftoff thrust, 225 kilonewtons Total mass, 1,600 kg Core diameter, 0.42 m Total length, 12. 60 m The 200A had similar specs. Topic. Aero B-300 Payload, 45 kg Maximum flight altitude, 300 km Liftoff thrust, 18 kN Total mass, 983 kg Core diameter, 0.38 m Total length, 9. 90 m Topic. Aero B-350 Payload, 227 kg Maximum flight altitude, 270 miles 450 km Liftoff thrust, 217 kilonewtons Total mass, 3,839 kg Core diameter, 0.56 m Total length, 15.90 meters. Span, 2.30 Mero B-350 specifications booster. Loaded weight 1,305 pounds, 593 kilograms. Thrust 48,700 lbf, 217,000 n. Duration 3.5 s. Impulse 170,000 lbfs, 756,000 ns. NAR designation T 220,000. Sustainer. 
loaded weight less payload 6642 lb 3019 kilograms propellant weight 4335 pounds 1970 kilograms payload weight 150 to 500 pounds 68 to 227 kilograms thrust 4x4100 lbf 18000 n duration 52 7s Impulse 864,000 lbfs, 3,850,000 ns. NAR designation 4xt18,000. Topic in fiction. In Men Into Space, a 1960 tie-in novel by Murray Leinster for the TV series of the same name, Ed McCauley makes the first manned suborbital spaceflight in the nose cone of an aerobee. <laughs> 